Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> Let me make sure everything's running. Because the stream did not change on my end. Hey, Reese, how are you? Good morning. Um, just making sure I got my tweet out, got my product ready. <clears throat> um, I'm okay. <clears throat> my voice apparently has decided to go out on me once I went live, but that's great. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, that's fun that my, my voice is like, hi, I'm going to crack while you're trying to talk to people. Oh no, Reese, I'm sorry. Well, let me switch to the so sorry about that. I know those feels. Ow, it's hot. Guess you tried to grab their coffee the wrong way. That would be me. Well, please conserve your voice. I don't want you to uh, wear it out. Also, coffee, coffee is beautiful. Also, I have this great mug. I'm being careful because it is very full. Hey, Seven. Uh, my mug is very full. Uh, just plain coffee this time. I don't have any fancy coffee right now. I do put vanilla, French vanilla flavored cream in it. Um, hey, Ferwick. Hey, Ferwick. I think today's unboxing will be very interesting to you. Uh, Logitech just released a 60% keyboard which is what we're going to unbox and try out. I don't know how good I'm going to be using it. Um, but yes, but first off, thanks to Logitech. I am sponsored by Logitech. So uh, I usually get to try out new stuff before it's available to the public. Yes, it is in my hands. I will show you shortly because we're going to open it on stream. Um, it's just released and announced today. You can reorder, you can pre-order it and it will start shipping April 16th. Um, I'm pretty sure you can, there's a UK, EU, or maybe Japan site for Logitech. Um, but it is a 60% keyboard. It is the Pro X60. So, uh, just so you'll know, again, hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored. Logitech did send me this, uh, actually a little while ago. I decided to open it on stream so we can try it out. So here it is. This is the box. Um, if a mod could do me a huge favor and get a screenshot of this while I'm holding it up, that would be great. So yes, this is the Pro X60 Lightspeed. That's it. That's the whole keyboard that you're seeing. That's it. So it's light speed. It has optical switches. Um, dual spot, dual shot PBT, which I'm not quite sure what that means. I will tell you. Hey, Strike. How are you? Good morning. So again, yes, this is the keyboard. I can't hold it up straight, apparently. I can do nothing straight. I, I have a weird sense of where things are because of I'm looking at this and it's backwards. So yes, this is the whole thing. This is it. Um, it is a hefty box, though, for a... 60% keyboard so I'm holding it in one hand but it is a pretty heavy box yes please thank you um, so we're gonna open it we're gonna talk about it I'm gonna see can I get it to work I already updated Logitech's hub um, so what I'm actually using right now so you all know the the difference is I'm using a 915 TKL, which 
sorry, it's a little filthy because I use it daily. But this is a 10 keyless, basically a regular keyboard just without the number keys. So that's what I use daily. Um, and it, that one's in carbon. So let's open it and see, can I actually swap hot swap keyboards while I'm live? This may be my best idea or my worst idea. Also, shout out to Logitech for these very convenient little tabs. So if you don't have scissors nearby, you can just pull them. You don't have to have scissors, which is a huge help, especially if you have mobility issues. And uh, note that Logitech is um, committed to reducing their carbon footprint, so they do reuse and repackage a lot of things. Uh, not repackages and sending it out, but they're committed to good um, accessibility and also being good stewards of the planet. Also, bless coffee. So yeah, a lot of what they do is very sustainable, very... Um, mindful of the of the world and because uh, hands up if you tried to open something to realize you need scissors including opening other scissors ooh fancy okay so first off this is designed to be carried around it comes in a carrying case this is the whole keyboard right here. This is the keyboard. This is pretty dope. Hey, Maple. Hey, Jesse. Okay, so here's the whole thing. This is it. And it comes in the carrying case. You don't have to buy the carrying case separate. Um, I will show you the instructions, basically. Let me know if you can or can't see them. But that's it. There's the instructions in the lid of the box. This is it. No additional foam. No extra. No plastic at all. Gotta love that. So let's see what's in here. It feels like I'm opening a switch or a, um, or the. Okay, so inside the packaging, this it gets even smaller. This is it. This is this is all we have. In my small hands, I have small hands. This is it. This is the whole keyboard. And this paper is recycled. It's very fluffy. This is it, y'all. This is the whole keyboard. This is it. The whole keyboard right here. Hey, Milan. That's it. This is the whole keyboard. That's it. That's all there is. So I know Frederick is a fan of these kind of keyboards. So we're going to try to hot swap and see what happens um it comes with its dongle now i don't know if the dongle makes a difference um but a nice long cable which i'm gonna leave in here and see can i just hot swap it maybe maybe not um the dongle and an escape key. I don't, I need to read the instructions as to why you have a separate escape key. It is, but I'm five and it makes me laugh every time. So we're going to see, can I hot swap it? Oh yes, I should put the dongle in the keyboard so my computer will recognize it. So, so oh, I'm backwards. Dongle here. But this is it. Look, and I have small hands. Like, this is it. You could put it in the case and in your backpack. 
Okay, so let's take the instructions out. That's in Japanese. I cannot read it for what can. The struggle when you have too many things on your desktop. Again, the recyclable, the recycled wrapping paper and telling you where to get G-Hub. Oops, it's upside down. But G-Hub, which if you're already using Logitech products, you'll have G-Hub already. So Frederick, it is out. Don't tell me that, I have both. I have both, I'm very tempted. I'm so tempted. Okay, so box goes over there. Also, just for comparison, I'm gonna unplug the keyboard so I cannot type right now. So here is, yeah, I'm gonna turn this off so I don't type weird things in the chat. So here is the TKL. And here, ah, I'm doing it backwards again. So you can see the size difference. I'm bad at this. This actually isn't that big of a keyboard, Milam. This just doesn't have the number keys. It's a pretty standard size keyboard. All right, now where can I put this keyboard so I don't lose it? Not lose it, but misplace it. All right. Wish me luck as I plug in this keyboard. Oh, this isn't gonna work. This is USB-C. The TKL is micro USB. So I do need to pull a regular USB cable. So, let's see. I'm going to just plug it in directly to my PC here. So I'm gonna plug you back in, but leave you off. So this is a, um, uh, oh yeah, it came with one, Milam. It's just, I was hoping I could just hot swap them without having to do all of that. Yeah. Also not drop the keyboard. Oh yeah, this, so I don't know if you saw, but the 60 comes in this lovely case that includes the dongle and the um, very long USB-C cable you can use with it. So it's just a matter of I need to, well, it's more that the keyboard I normally use just doesn't have the same connector. So voila. So basically this keyboard is ideal if you're going to travel like uh, Ferwick said. So let's test it. I don't know what I'm doing with this kind of keyboard, so this is gonna be high comedy. Um, so I've plugged it in, turned it on. There's the Badoop. I mean, that is how it sounds. All right, we're plugged in. We have lights. Hey, Dre. All right, now let's see if I can actually share the Pro X. Um, see if I can share my, oh, oh. There we go. All right, bear with me. I'm gonna see, can I co-streaming properties. There we go. Well, oh, it helps when I pick the right one. There we go. All right. We're going to actually swap over and I'm going to show you what it looks like in, um, in G-Hub. 
So here is the Pro X that we just set up. Um, so here's the overview. So you can see all of it. Uh, Logitech gave us access to to add this to G Hub early because it's not actually out yet. So if I want a game with this in, can um, flip game mode on. Now the TKL does have that as well. So I can, a, a new thing that Logitech started is one dongle can control two devices, which is really great. Um, light sync, changing it to breathing, because I like the breathing effect on a uh, game mode. Basically, like if I wanted to play a PC game, I can flip it. So like Windows will designate certain keys for game mode. And you can do that on a full size keyboard as well. So I can modify how it functions. So let's say I like Furwick suggested, I'm traveling. I've got this, I've got my Steam Deck and a wireless mouse, especially if one dongle can work with with a mouse and the keyboard. Uh, correct, Strike. I've turned that on by accident, wondered what was wrong with my keyboard and realized I turned on game mode because it's very easy to do on some keyboards because there's a little joystick icon where if you tap it, you've turned on game mode. And we can go through everything. Um, if you have a Logitech profile. So this is what we can do. So I've set breathing. I can change the colors, obviously. Purple for Twitch. I can be really wild with what I want my keys to do. So we can do WASD. You could say you want your numbers to be a certain color your modifier to be a different color. So like if you're a very visual person, I could say set WASD to purple, but then my numbers, not green, cause that, that would distract me at least. Or there are presets, so I can make my numbers orange, which is what it's doing. Um, and then your keys to modify which we could say green for the sake of demoing this. So then if I need to look down and visually, if that would help me, and for some people, it is a visual, I can look down, oh, WASD is these colors. Uh, I'm not gonna leave that green, mainly just because of that. And also, I like ocean wave, so it will slowly wave across the keyboard. So here's, oh, remap overview. This is important. Um, well, if you're going to use these kind of keyboards, Jesse, it, they need to explain how they work. Cause some people may buy this and never have used a 60% keyboard. So I can assign commands to this. Simply select a key you want to remap and change the assignment. One key can have more than one command. So this is pretty cool. Because obviously if you're going to game with it, some games are WASD, some games have different things. It's all gonna be different based on what your needs are. Can't talk about that because this is a, a stream about a Logitech product. Also, I hate that company. So. So I can remap the A button. So function, oh, where's function? This is where I fail. Oh, there's function. So I'm gonna leave WASD alone because I use WASD. But like P, I can remap it. 
So I can say shift press. So this is where you can be like, hey, I want to copy. I mean, you could change it. I don't want to change copy paste. We can remap it. So if I just do just L, so what I'd like to do while we're doing this is change the P key to hold equals Um, I don't want to capture video because I don't use Overwolf. That's not what I wanted. Where is print screen? <sighs> oh, also caps lock is on. So I could say save instead. So now if I hold down the P, it will save something. So this is also a way for me to go cool because there's no print screen. There's no num lock. So I hold down the equal sign now. I could set this. I could even change my litter beam lights that are behind me. They're not on right now. So I could turn all of these off and on. I could do lighting. Oh, I could decrease the base. Absolutely. So now that should reduce the base when I'm using these these. I can also disable a key. Not that I want to. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to say alt plus dash um, So I can say I want to launch an application. So let's say oh I didn't mean to put that there. So let's say I want to load Mod Manager. Uh, yes, it is RGB. Hey, Alamedes. So if I know I'm going to play Dragon Age Inquisition and I want to launch the Mod Manager, manage my mods and mess with it before I go live. Um, I can do that. So I'm not going to save it because I'm not, I don't really want that to do that, but I can say launch application. Um, macros. I don't really, I don't understand macros. So I'm not going to try to mess with it. Um, but let's say I want to launch OBS. I could say desktop mute. So now if I do alt minus, it will mute my desktop in OBS. So these are all ways in which we can use this keyboard. So there's just so many ways you can modify it. I clicked on the stream and not this, good Lord. Um, there are default settings. So these keys can't be changed. That's why they're grayed out. So also the white G key is the escape key. So I could say shift press escape also does this. I could play an air raid sample if I wanted. I'm not going to do that to you. But here are just all the ways that you can do this. 
Like, I can even remap the space bar. Not that I would, at least for me, but... But yeah, this is all the cool ways you can use it. And then once you're satisfied with it... Oh yeah, uh, Strike asked about game mode. So, the Windows key is disabled on both sides. The Windows key and the... I'm not sure what this key is. Yeah, and these are also all the other Logitech products I have. Yeah, like I said, this is it. This is the keyboard I'm using. Where I was just doing all of that, this is the keyboard. This is it. This is all we get. Um, there's also... Um, There's a Bluetooth key and a light speed key, so if I want to use Bluetooth, let's say I'm traveling, um, I can use Bluetooth instead of light speed. It is very tiny. It is a 60% keyboard. That's it. That's all we get. And if you like the clicky clacks, um, this one is the GX Optical Tactile. This is the whole box. This is it. This is the box. Oh, uh, probably can't read that because it's upside down. This is it. Optical switches, adapter. Exactly. Exactly, Fairwack. So yeah, that is our new fun keyboard. Um, I am going to move it out of the way though and go back to my other keyboard just for now because I need to map everything. I don't know how I want to map stuff. But um, if someone wants to do exclamation Logitech G in the chat. God damn it. Sorry. Sorry, Logitech. I, uh... I dropped the keyboard I normally use. As I tried to pick it up by the cord, don't do that. Oh, I gotta fix that, my link isn't there. Ha! Huh. One second, let me grab my link. Copy link, I need to fix that. Is that a Nightbot? Nope, it's in Cypheron. Here is uh, my link if you would like to go get it. Also, let me go get the, let me go get the tweet from Logitech directly. So it is available for pre-order. It starts shipping on the 16th. Um, it is 179 US. All right, let me add that to my commands because that should be in the command. Good job, me. I don't know why that didn't work, why it's not in there. Pardon me a moment. Alright, uh, can someone call the Logitech G command again and see what pops up? But yeah, it's available to pre-order now. Also, depending on what you like. Hey, I, Ian. Um, oh, I wonder if it's got a timer on it. Or did I not update the correct command? No, I did. I don't know why it's not updating. There we go. Oh, Firework already called it. That's why. Uh, but it also comes in white and magenta. So if you've got like 
the Pro X 2 headset and the keyboard in magenta and then also the mouse. You can have a whole pink setup. Pink's not my color, but if that's your jam, or you can have an all white setup because the headphones I'm wearing, the mic I'm using, and the keyboard all come in white. And today won't be, this won't be a super long stream because I do have things to do before work. But I wanted to get up, do some content, say hi. We also haven't done a chatting stream in a very long time. Mostly because people are terrible. Uh, this now ends the sponsor portion of our content. Uh, what is everyone up to this morning? I'm trying to... Uh, Make not a mess on my desk, which isn't working very well. Oh no, not Elden Ring. I still, it still plays like trash on my PC and I don't know why. It absolutely plays like trash on my PC. Thank you, Fairwick. Oh no, when I say it plays like trash, I mean I literally have issues playing it. Oh, for a flight? Hey, Acronism, how are you? So yeah, we are. We just showed off the new Pro X 60% uh, keyboard from Logitech G. Oh, interesting, Dre. No, when I say it plays like trash, like I get weird graphical bugs. So imagine Benny Hill, but Elden Ring. Especially that, you know the area where wolves drop out of you from the sky? Literally wolves just fall out of the sky, sky as you're running. That whole area just like makes my computer chug. And I've got a really good machine. I have no idea what the problem is. I also play the game like trash. I'm very bad at it. I'm stuck. Yeah, there's a part in Elden Ring when you get past the kind of intro area. You are running down the road and you see a fire. There's also like an abandoned cottage. As you're running toward it, wind picks up and wolves literally start dropping. I don't know if that's a bug. It's supposed to be that way. Um, oh no, Reese. So I don't know if that's on purpose, if it's my computer, but I've got a really good video card and I've got 64 gigs of RAM, like deep in this one. Hey Curly, how are you? Curly is awesome. Can I get a shout out for Curly? Speaking of Elden Ring, we were just talking about Elden Ring. Curly was playing last night, um, also in cosplay. Oh, thank you so much for Rick. You are amazing. Good, we're actually just showing off a new keyboard that Logitech sent me. Uh, I'm gonna unplug it so I can just hold it up easier. I don't know if I can see my own keyboard. But yes, it's a new 60% keyboard that Logitech announced today. So they sent me one and we were playing with it. I was showing how you can, um, Showing how you can map the keys, because this is it, Curly. This is the whole keyboard. Uh, yeah, I so I do play. I've got it both on PC and on um, and PS5. But I don't know why, but it plays really bad for me on PC. Thing, so Curly, I'm not. I'm sure you've dealt with this, especially as a femme presenting person on the internet. People want to come in and constantly um, give advice or they want to backseat and tell me how they platinumed it and beat this boss 
the first time with no effort and my build is trash and I'm like, you know what? I think you can go somewhere that's not here. Hey, Curly's doing real good. Curly's at a boss where I saw that boss and I was like, no. Yeah, people were coming into Curly's stream last night giving tips and I was like, for want of a mod sword, y'all would all be gone. Hey, but you're doing really good. I'm just putting the keyboard back in its case. Um... Also, I need to put the cable back so I don't lose it. Um, actually, Eugenio did really good when he was streaming it. I don't know if he's still... I don't know if he's ever going to go back to it, but he and I had fun with it. Multiplayer. So I did reconnect my, my main keyboard. Mostly because I need to spend time remapping this keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the case it comes in. This is it. This is the whole thing. So I could travel with this keyboard if I wanted. So like if I had my iPad, I could bring this. Yeah, it comes in this case, Curly. Uh, if you do exclamation Logitech G, you can get a link to Logitech site. And um, also here, I know I put it in the... The tw I know I put Logitech's tweet in chat. Here it is. I should just make a command. Let me do that while we're chatting. So currently, I normally... I used to do chatting streams way more. But people... Percent keyboard from Logitech. Wow, I can't type. to do my FTC things. All right. Uh, if someone wants to do pro X 60 in chat, there should be a new command. I barely beat the first boss. Um, actually, since we're here, what we could do since I'm already on camera, what we could try to do is see if I can just show you all Elden Ring. Oh, Curly, huh? It should be there. I saved it. Pro X 60. Oh, I made it moderator. Let me fix that. Permission. There we go. Now everyone can do it. It was moderator only at first. Sorry, strike. Um... I'm glad I learned how to do studio mode in this, in fucking OBS. There we go. Oh, Dragon's Dogma 2 has an update. All right, now let's see if I can actually show you all how Elden Ring plays for me. Let's see if it'll run first off. So I can show you Elden Ring before I have to run away. Oh, I haven't added Elden Ring. Oh, yes, I did. Excuse me. I'm a liar. Now, well, let's see if I can get it to actually run. Um, 